Deputy Minister of Transport, Cindy Siwe Chikunga, is calling for harsh punishment if negligence is found to have caused the horrific Louis Trichard bus crash that claimed the lives of 21 people. Chikunga and officials from the Limpopo Department of Transport will be visiting survivors of the accident that are in hospital. Investigations into the cause of the crash are still continuing, as Dumaule Mutlaudi is about to tell us. Good afternoon, Dumi. Well, good afternoon to you, Dudu. And, of course, investigations continue. And this latest leg of the investigation sees the Deputy Minister, uh, Sendesiwe Chikunga, coming to the site of uh, the crash. This is, of course, where the bus plunged through the barricade here and landed in the river down there. And, of course, uh, this is where uh, all those people lost their lives and uh, the injured have been rushed to hospital. But let's hear uh, from the Deputy Minister of Transport uh, in terms of what's happening with the investigations. Deputy Minister, thanks for speaking to us on News in Africa. The latest in terms of the investigation, and you have had a briefing right here that shed some more light on what happened. What have you been told and what can you tell us? I, I think one must emphasize the, the fact that the investigation is still at its preliminary stage. So there's not, nothing final for now. What they have actually told us is that for now it would seem like the impact happened on the side, on the lane of the bus. Uh, which might mean that whoever was on the other side veered to the side of the bus um, uh, and, and, and therefore a head-on collision happened. But I must, I must immediately indicate that this definitely is a preliminary report because what the survivors are telling us is not what is being said about at the scene of the accident. So I think there's still more investigation that has to happen so that we can then come to a final determination on what exactly was the cause of this accident. I think that will be important. And I've actually directed RTMC that there were 55 survivors, those that are at home. 55 of them have to be interviewed so that all of them can tell us, like you were at the hospital, the, the line of reasoning was almost the same and probably uh, may not be what is said at the scene of the accident. So we need to find something that says, indeed, this was the reason for the accident. So we are at a, a preliminary stage. There's nothing final. We still don't know as such as to what happened. What we know is that 21 people died, 55 people were sent to hospitals, and some are still at the hospital, others were discharged. Having said that, uh, Madam Deputy Minister, at this particular stage, it is still concerning to hear that the reports uh, from uh, particularly the police, from what they found, is that it seems as if the cash and transit vehicle was not roadworthy. This will also form part of investigations. Uh, initially, it was believed that it might have been the bus fault at fault here, yeah, but everything falls past the investigation. If it is found that uh, indeed the cash and transit vehicle was not roadworthy, is this something you'll take up with the company from the department side? Could they face sanctions? Definitely. If, 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 if ultimately we conclude that there was negligence on the side of whoever, whether it is the driver who was driving the car and the car was unroadworthy, whether it is the bus or it is the, 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 the cash transit car, Whoever will have to face the mighty of the law and, and, and the full might of the law and, 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 and possibly be charged with culpable homicide, 21 counts of culpable homicide. These are lives that will never return. And I think one thing that can console the relatives is if justice is seen to have been saved about their relatives that will never come back. There's nothing that is as painful as losing family members and nothing happens, and you've got to live with that. Good as even if the people are sent to jail, but that does not bring back your family members. But at least you get consoled by the fact that there has been some justice saved on their behalf, even in their death. So I think even in this one, there are 21 people that have died, and I think somehow somebody must be held accountable for that if that is the case. If there's no one, then of course that must be clear that you know, it was a real accident because we are human beings. With everything that we can do, we can still make error. Sometimes that is very costly. 
pay for their country. Just want to say that these accidents are very costly for South Africa. Uh, just for the previous year, we estimate that they costed the country 188 billion right. But that is money. There is the other, the other side of, of these accidents that can never be costed. You never bring back your family members. These are some young breadwinners. They will never come back. So it's not just about the cost to the country, which is important, but it's more than that. And, 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 and I think that is what we need to take care of. Thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, that is the Deputy Minister of Transport there, Sindhisiwe Chikunga, giving us uh, that uh, closing salvo, which is quite important. Uh, the billions that uh, road accidents cost every day on top of uh, the human lives, which is, of course, priceless. And uh, this is uh, the situation right here. As I give my colleague, Morana Likitla, uh, space to give you shots as people continue to come and uh, see for themselves where uh, their loved ones, their relatives, their friends, community members in their own communities have uh, perished and you can see there uh, just beyond this particular barricade at the bottom still some debris including personal items uh, perhaps belonging to some of those who uh, were last seen alive just before this accident happened but the preliminary reports are out and it shows that indeed uh, of course the bus uh, must have been bus uh, roadworthy but the investigations continue over the questions of whether or not the cash and transit vehicle was roadworthy and uh, police confirming on the scene to the minister earlier that their initial re uh, reports uh, from the Road Traffic Management Corporation is that indeed that vehicle, the cash and transit vehicle, was not roadworthy at all. So many questions there about what is the next step. Minister saying that a comprehensive investigation will be undertaken. We'll continue to keep a close eye on the story and bring you those developments as and when they happen. But that is back to you in the studio, Tutu. Absolutely. Dumalu Mushaudi, thank you very much for that update.